Okay, we're going to try to make a buffing pad out of these. We bought them at the grocery store. We use them for uh, scrubbing pots and pans. And I have some two-sided tape here that we're going to use to hold everything together. We have this backing plate here, which originally had some uh, sandpaper, emery paper, or whatever on it, and I've taken that off and it was apparently glued on here. So the first thing we've got to do here is get our tape put on here. And we'll just cut a piece that's big enough. And stick it right on there. And then trim it right down to about the same size. Sticky stuff. Be careful not to cut the buffing pad itself here. Okay, now we've got that. Very sticky stuff. Uh, we need to cut this down to size. So if we use this for a template, and mark things up with a marker. Maybe we can get a, a good result with that. And marked up pretty good. Let's see how well we can get it rounded out here. go. Now this might be tricky getting the covering off the top of this. Find the edge here. There we go. And sit it down on top of here. Best we can anyway. I guess we have a lot of room here to still trim some off. There we go. Now we'll just have to find something to drive this with and we'll be right back. I'm going to try this with an air grinder. It may go too fast, I don't really know. We have taken a picture of this for a before and after just in case it looks like it does the job. Here we go. Certainly seems to be cleaning that up. Wow, well, that does a pretty nice job. I have to try this on something else. We've got a piece of metal here that has been machined and has laid around long enough to become very discolored and dirty looking. I'll give it a shot on this. Like we've got some kind of gummy material on this end that might be coming off the tape. Maybe we're turning a little bit too fast. We'll have to try this with something a little slower. I think perhaps I was pushing a little too hard and perhaps moving a little too fast. If you take a look at this at the edges you can see we've worn the green stuff off and we're right down to the, the sticky two-sided tape. So that's what happened there. Let's try this with an electric drill. And this time 
We've left a little bit more hanging over the edge to try to prevent that and we're going to be going a lot slower. Well, that kind of shined that up pretty good compared to the other side. It's looking uh, a lot nicer. Now we're going to try this out on just an ordinary piece of metal bar stock. And then this is the way it comes with this kind of a, a black coating on it. And first we'll try it with the slower RPMs and then we'll try it with the higher RPMs. Doesn't appear to be any damage on here from pushing because we're not going very fast I, I would imagine. And now we'll try it with the air tool. I didn't really expect it to work much better than that. It's a very uneven surface and it does seem to clean it up and smooth it up. And uh, going fast uh, doesn't seem to have uh, done what it did before. And I think that's because we need to leave more of the green buffing pad hanging over the sides so it doesn't wear off as easily. The other thing that I've discovered here is that uh, when this becomes worn on one side, you can actually peel this right off, turn it over and stick it back on, which is what I've done here, and it sticks on pretty nice. So you can use both sides of this. <laughs> 